Well, today I'm going to be painting Dodge. It's going to be my, my last astronaut. Uh, what I've done so far is I, I've, uh, I've primed the, the head sculpt with, um, with my brown boots, but really any brown satin paint will do. You'll notice it doesn't really match the body on this body. I got this from Classic TV Toys. You know, it does a really good job matching the bodies that come from um, Amigo themselves, you know, the uh, the Romulan, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, Klingon bodies. It really matches those well. I'm going to start with the eyes just because, you know, if you don't get the eyes right, you got to scrub it anyway. So let's see. Just a little narrow strip of white. One, ah, messed up a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that without having to scrub it. I'm going to use this as kind of like an eraser. I think I may, may have got it in it. Yeah, that's going to work. Yeah, um, I was reading up on, on Dodge. He was played by an actor, uh, Jeff Burton, who, um, if my source is correct, uh, he was a police officer. He really didn't do a lot of acting. But he was kind of a man's man. He served in the military, you know, um, real rugged guy. Well, it's not, oh, there it comes. I think I might have um, diluted it and caused more of a problem. Let's see, there's a crease there. Okay, I think that's got it. Let me just. All right, so there we go. Let me try with the pupils. I'm gonna be using uh, my brown. I have a Cadian, I mean, I'm sorry, I have a, a, a Citadel paint. It's called Dryad Bark, and I'm gonna use that for the, uh, for the dark part of the eyes. <clears throat> when you do the eyes, you start in the middle and you, uh, you make like a little dot, and then you move it towards the top of the, the lid. It needs to be bigger. Yeah, that's a lot better. Let's see if I can get the other one. I think I'm gonna try to avoid talking when I'm doing these because they're they're kind of hard. not too bad I did get some over travel on the top so I'm gonna try to take care of that right now yeah there's always something I have to fix with the eyes a lot of you guys are, are you know discouraged from painting these guys because of the eyes and you know it just takes practice with anything else you know it's like just work on it and eventually they'll come. Mine aren't 100%, 100%. And you know, um, since I started doing these videos, my eyes have gotten a lot better too. I look at some of my early ones and you know, the eyes were okay, but just with all the practice that I get from, from doing these videos, they've gotten a lot better. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'm also going to show you guys. I think I can do it. I'm going to try it. How I put that little white dot in there just to kind of like um, give it a little bit more, I guess, life. You know? I'm going to try to do that on camera. You got to use your smallest brush. And you get very little paint on the end of it. Just, just a little dot. A teeny little dot. I don't know if you can see that. Just a teeny little dot. And you place it in the eye. I try to do it a little off center. Ah, I messed it up. I'll try this. Maybe I should do the other side because that one's got to dry. Okay, a little dot of paint. Just a little dot. And a little off center. And you can see why I have to do these like really, really close up. There you go. Let me see if I can get it in the same spot on the other eye. Hmm. Let me fix his uh, left eye. And add a little more of the, the brown in there. Just because I think I wiped off some when I was clearing the um, little uh, light dot. Let's see. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Hmm, I think I have too much water on my brush. That's a problem. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Again, a little off-center. It looks like it's going to be to my left. Nope. Still didn't get it. Okay, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a break and come back. Hang on, that's my dog. Yeah, I had to do it off camera because it was it's too difficult for me. I gotta get really, really close up, but there's a second eye. Finally got it. Now I'm gonna tackle his beard. Let's see, I'm gonna use again I think I'm gonna use that the hmm. You know what? I'm gonna use the dryad bark and I'm gonna do a black wash. I got this Nullins oil, so I'll bring it down using that. But I'll do the really dark brown for the hair and the beard. Let me just see how this is going to look. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I keep saying I'm going to throw this brush away, but I don't know if it has sentimental value or what, but I sure do like it. This brush and I have been through a lot together. I don't know if you can hear my dog eating in the background. She's barking because I guess she was hungry. So. You'll notice I'm not getting close to the scalp. I'm just painting the larger areas. You know where I don't need the detail. I'm just getting the paint on. I think I am going to switch over and go to the more detailed areas. Let's take a look at his beard.
No, well, this guy's pretty easy. So far, except for the eyes. You know, with these darker skin tones, it's easier to um, to kind of like cover up any sort of like little mistakes that you make because you're going to be using a, uh, a wash. You know, when I did my Romulan on the Caucasian flesh tones, it, it was difficult. You know, just because, I don't know, you, you try to maintain those subtle like hues and, you know, it can become splotchy. But this is a good consistent skin tone, so... This is working out really well. So I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to recommend Dodge as a you know, I guess if you're a novice painter, I think you should be able to do well on them. Of course you need the, the proper brushes and you're going to need the uh, the proper paints, but you should be okay. Let's see. And this one, unlike my Romulan, is very, um, you know, they got some some very, I guess, the other details are really good too, but they were more subtle. These are, are more pronounced, you know, the details where you have to paint. You know, it's like uh, when I was painting the, um, the Klingons, it's kind of like, you know, a coloring book. You know, the, the lines are pretty, pretty well established and it's not difficult to um, kind of like stay within them. But for whatever reason, that Romulan had some very subtle areas, like his eyebrows were, were difficult. You know, I had to like kind of like guess a little bit on where where I needed to paint. But you know, he ended up coming out pretty well. I was I enjoy him. I'm gonna be so happy to have all three astronauts. This is something I've wanted for a while. And I've seen some online, you know, there's some people out there who've done some really good work with uh, customizing their astronauts. So kudos. And if you've, if you've done that too, if you customized astronauts, I'd like to see it, you know? I don't know if you have a YouTube channel, put a link in there, or maybe you're, um, your Instagram or whatever. I just got on Instagram. My sister was telling me, yeah, you got to get an Instagram to share all your photos and stuff. So I just got on that. I don't know anything about it, honestly. But my sister, I guess, knows a lot. That's looking really good, isn't it? Let me see if I can get those eyebrows. Let me use a really detailed brush. Let me use my small one. See how these eyebrows go. Oh yeah, see look. They're very defined. So you just like trace them. Yeah, that's easy one to, fit, to paint. I would recommend you you try it. I think I went too far. Clean that off. line here at the base. Hmm. I have to do a little touch up. I got this nutmeg brown for such occasions. Let me see if I can clean that up. You know, 
let me just paint this whole thing. That way I can just paint over it. I'll come back to that eyebrow. Yeah, this nutmeg brown is a perfect um, match to the um, to the brown boots that I have. Okay, I'll try to be a little more careful on this side. I think this is the way to do it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. There we go. Looking good. All right, so I'm gonna keep working on the detail in the in the hair. I guess while I have my little brush, and then I can use um, the bigger brush for those larger areas. Yeah, as always, I kind of like go to the scalp and kind of like pull it back just so you can get those little hairs and stuff that are there i think it's going to look great with the um with the black wash that i've chosen i don't know if i should go gloss probably not i think i'm going to stick with just uh, the regular one wow it's looking great See if I missed anything on this side. A little bit of the beard there, the hairline to the ear. Back of the neck. I'm just going to get the rest of the neck. Just following the neckline, you know. Yeah, this is um this has been an easy one to paint with, without the uh without the eyes being a problem. But that's just one eye, you know. But like I said, you have the luxury of continuing to, to repaint, paint those eyes until you're satisfied with them. You know, if they really get deep into paint and you have to clear it all, get the toothbrush out, you know? This uh, Brown Boots um, satin paint is pretty durable, you know? And I put on a couple of coats, not thick coats, you know, because you want to maintain the detail. But I usually uh, give it um, a couple of spritzes, you know? Yeah, I think that this, pretty much done. Wow, that looks great, huh? Look at that. And I'm going to put the Reichlin uh, Flesh Shade uh, wash into some of the, um, the recesses of his face, but yeah, look at that. Easy one to paint, and just fabulous results, you know? Wow. Yeah, you know what? Um, again, uh, reliving the past doesn't give me any, um, <laughs> you know, um, endorsements or anything. Or like, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, any perks or whatever for for mentioning them. You know, the guy actually said I'm one of his better customers, you know, because I buy a lot from him. But they produce some really fabulous stuff. Look at this. Look at that. That just, I mean... That's just spot on. You know, I don't even need the wash. I was gonna put some some black, um, Nolan's black in there. I think I made still. But even if you just left it like that, I think it looks great. Wow, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna 
Ooh, I can already see I have some touch up right here. Yeah, you really have to go over your pieces once you think you're, you know, pretty much done with them. Because there's always something else. Oh, I can't. Got to get the paint on that one. I can see his hairline needs a Well, you know, actually the, the Nolan's black is going to take care of that. It looks like I missed a spot right here by the ear. You can see right there on the hairline. But yeah, it looks great. Okay, I'm gonna let him dry, and then I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna do a touch up on him, anything that I missed. I think I got it all though. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the Nolens oil and the, the other shade. Be right back. You know, I'm, I'm such a proponent of the lips, you know, being on there because they really add to the figure. And I always just, I always forget them for some reason. They're always kind of like the last thing I paint when I think everything's gonna be done. And then I go back and I look at my, my work and I'm saying, oh, what happened to his lips? So let me get those real quick. Again, I'm using a Cadian flesh tone. Just coming up a little bit. That looks great. Okay, now I'm gonna let them dry and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna uh, add the washes. All right, I'm, I'm applying my Reichland Flesh Shade to the recesses. And I'm using it full strength. You can see how it's giving you that, that depth to the figure. Let me see if I can get, I don't want a lot under his eyes. That's looking great. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the uh, hairline. So it provides a nice transition between the, um, the scalp and the face. Put a little water in there. Get the air. Under the beard. Yeah, wow, looks great. Um, I don't know, I, I was thinking about the Nolan's oil. I'm gonna try the Nolan's oil on the hair. I just don't want it to look, I mean, it looks great now. And I'm wondering what this thing will do. Eh, I'll try it. I, I like the brown color. It's like really rich. Let me, let me just do a little spot over here and see. Oh yeah, that's not really doing anything. Just bringing out the, uh, the detail. So yeah, I can do this. Looking good, huh? Yeah, I think this is probably um, <laughs> the best return on my uh, on my efforts. Look at that. I mean. I guess the sculpt is just like, look at all the detail on that. The sculpt is doing all the work. I'm just kind of like coloring it like a coloring book. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go back and see. I don't remember if you had any gray. 
I know that Landon picked up some gray and I, I added that to my to my figure after a, a friend pointed it out. But yeah, look at that. Super easy. And some great results. You know, there's been a couple like that. I think uh, my Neptunian was one. You know, for the amount of work that I really put into it, it really came out great. I mean, it wasn't hard at all. And this is going to go in my, my Hall of Fame too. Look at that. Fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and let them dry. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that uh, clear matte enamel. And we'll go from there. I'll get them dressed up. So, see you in a sec. Well, there's my Dodge. He looks fabulous, doesn't he? You know what? Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to uh, to create my own custom Dodge. He was a really easy one to paint. I mean, the hair looks great. That that brown that I used, uh, along with the black wash, just made for a realistic hair, um, both on the beard and uh, on the head. You know, uh, the paint job wasn't really that difficult. This is a great one to start with. You know, if, if you're gonna do the astronauts, I would probably start with Dodge, you know, get your confidence level up, and then move to uh, probably Taylor. You know, and then uh, Landon, I would probably do lashes because he has some finer detail with that beard, you know, with the, uh, the dry brushing. But overall, pretty easy customizations to do. You know, um, these guys aren't out there and this is a great way to get them. You know, the outfit I got from Classic TV Toys, uh, the stickers. Um, we're from uh, World's Greatest and Reliving the Past also does the backpacks. So I got the head and the backpack from Reliving the Past again. But overall, very, very pleased with Dodge. It's a great way to, to, to get all three astronauts for your Planet of the Apes collection. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I uh, enjoyed producing it. It was, it was a fun, fun paint job. This guy, was, this guy was really easy and fun to do. And I hope you guys do your own Mego uh, customizations because you know what, you know, some of them are more difficult than others, but it's not so hard to get into, you know, and you guys are going to have a lot of fun. I've been having a great time doing these videos and, uh, and making some customs. Uh, so I hope you don't hesitate to do that as well. Well, until next time, uh, I'll see you soon. You guys take care now. Bye-bye.